What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Zendikar Rising draft on Magic Online. Valakut Stoneforge seems very, very good. 2 3 for 5. Fenders Battlefield with a counter for each color. These guys good. And does one initiate sure two damage sure. This is fine. I think we're just taking the Valakut Awakening. It's just pretty decent. I hope it's as good and limited. But it's also. Uh, Yikes. Yikes. Uh, because you're probably negative two, negative until end of turn. Not super impressive. Super Fritz said he was enjoying um, Red White Warriors. This is a warrior. Surge isn't bad. Vastwood Surge, yeah, Vastwood Surge is good. I, I mean, I, I but I was just red green in the previous draft, so I'm probably going to avoid it this time. Um, I also like Field Research. Huh. Kitesel Cleric is interesting. It's just a one one for one or a one one for four that taps two dudes. It just doesn't do anything. I want to take the Kabir Outrider. We'll see what we can. It's not super impressive, but. I don't think that pack was that great, Sacra's Land. Yeah, it's just Harrow. Um, I th think. Target creature control is indestructible in the turn. If this had Flash, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I want to take the McKinney Ox, because I think we were going to play this last time. And uh, we didn't, because we didn't end up being white. But... What is it? Six six for three. Just they just have to have eight cards in their in their graveyard. Venture awaits is meh. Relic axe is relic axe could be all right. Plus two plus one, and only costs two to equip. Actually, that's pretty decent. Four damage target creature and X damage target creature controller. Where X is the number of creatures in your party. I mean that just seems good. Is that better than Relic Axe? I mean, four damage removal is pretty good. I'll just take the removal because I'm a... I'm a fan of removing things. Uh, three mana for three, three. Target, you and each opponent... You and target opponent each draw a card. What a commander card. Hellhound is a two, three. I'm going to take the Hellhound, and we're going to try to be a little more aggressive. Ooh, Gomafata Vanguard's real good. Card says, uh, whenever it attacks, target creature and opponent controls with power less than or equal to the number of warriors your control can't block. So any of their smaller guys can't block. We have another warrior here, so. Like, it already makes, already, it, like, just by herself, it makes it so one power creatures can't attack. Also, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, definitely... Check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore if you're looking for a sweet VPN. If you're looking for an internet security solution, NordVPN can be used on up to six different devices. It's uh, great at masking all your browsing or internet activity, and it's also great at unlocking some region-locked content from things like Netflix or Hulu. You also get 68% off a two-year subscription along with a free month, which is a pretty great deal, so definitely check out that link in the description below. And it's a great way to support the channel. So... Um, you can also check out manatraders.com they're another sponsor of the stream and um, it's a great way to support the channel and you get 20% off the first 3 months of any subscription at manatraders.com if you use the link and promo code down below so be sure to do that and it's a great way to test standard, modern, pioneer whatever format you really want to play on Magic Online they have an awesome subscription and rental service so definitely check them out they're who I use to borrow all my cards on Magic Online so um, Skyclave Relic. Don't care. 
I mean, discard a card if you do. It's a two-one that lets you loot once. This is a four-five that you can return a land to deal two. This is a one-four that gains you life. Hmm. I kind of like Skyclave Relic here, to be honest. It's not exciting, but I don't think anything else was exciting either. And this actually could, like, the ramp could be relevant, depending on what we open. Deals damage to that creature equal to twice the number of creatures in your party. So far, we only have warriors. We have two warriors and then nothing else. Hmm. So, like, it deals two? Eh. I think the Arden Electromancer. I'm also wondering if we branch out now. Spring Mantle Cleric could be pretty decent. It could be a 5-4. It's also a Cleric. I'm going to take the Spring Mantle Cleric and try to be Naya, I guess. Yeah, Smite's fine. Scale the Height's also pretty good. Six mana for a five, six five trample. Uh, you can return some lands to trigger your your things. Yeah, I'll take a six drop. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're just in the Naya camp now, and the Skyclave Relic definitely helps that. This is basically just a uh, a coalition relic when it um, for each creature in your party. I, I mean, I definitely think we're trying to aim for a big party strategy. Well, what happened? Wow, that was weird. Um, I think I want the adventure awaits here. I'm taking the gate. Orin Reef Ooze. Not bad. Not super exciting, though. Uh, veteran Adventurer 5-5 five, five for 6. Spell costs 1 less for each creature in your party. Again, could be good. Uh, this is... When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 encounter on a creature control. Whenever it attacks, put a 1... Oh, this is actually the good one. Interesting. I think we take this and then try to play counters and creatures. And then if like any of these three come, any of these four come back, I'd be fine, including visionary. Yeah, let's try the ooze. Maybe we're splashing the white instead. Lifeling as long as you control another cleric. Pro Prowling Felidar is nice. Whenever a land enters battlefield, put one encounter on it. I think we're probably taking that. Royal Eruption also really good. Deals three damage to a target. Actually, it might just be Royal Eruption. Yeah, let's take that. And then you can kick it to deal five damage. Arc Priest of Iona seems pretty decent in a deck trying to amass a bunch of parties. Yeah, let's take Archpriest. That seems great. Okay. Archpriest is, uh, its power is equal to the number of creatures in your party, so it's up to a 4-2. And at the beginning of combat, if you have a full party, target creature gets plus one, plus one in flying, which is pretty good and limited. Uh, Visionary seems good. I also like Blight Blade. 
And I think Visionary is probably the best here. It's a four drop, fits nicely on the curve. It's a wizard, which is hard to fulfill. So I'll take that. Another Hellhound, which I don't know if I care about. Also, Golem Warrior is nice because it is a warrior. Returning a land you control is pretty decent. Just because it lets you, like, bounce something like Valakut Awakening back to your hand. Unfortunately, a bird does not actually fit our... Eh, still taking the bird. Uh, deals one damage to a target. If a permanent all damage, it would die exile instead. Yeah, it's not bad. This card's actually great. If you tap it on tap to rogue, it can't be blocked. Um, Packed Beast is... I, unfortunately, I just don't want to branch into blue when this is our only way to fix right now. Actually, I kind of like Sure-Footed Infiltrator, and then we can get Pack Beasts. So let's take that. Let's Let's go crazy. Dauntless Unity. Plus one, plus one. If it was kicked, it gets plus two, plus one. Uh, this is just a one-two with Trample. When it attacks, it gets plus one for each creature in your party. So it's always a two-two when it attacks. Three mana for a two-three. This pack's not great. Thank you. Gamble, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Strength of Solidarity could just be good, especially with um, Oren Reef Ooze in our deck. I'm going to take the Hellhound out. I don't think we're just going to be aggressive for the sake of ag being aggressive. Oh, Fearless Fledgling. Whenever a lander is battlefield, put one counter on it? Yes. That card is great. Oh, another Visionary. Also, this is a Troll Warrior. Okay. I think I'm just taking Visionary here. It means we might not need to play this guy. But I think he is very, very good. Tapping of the Rogue lets him attack for free. Well, not attack for free, but attack unblocked. And, uh... This is a 4-3 for 3? That's pretty good. I feel like Warriors are... Uh, pretty easy to uh, accommodate here. Uh, destroy an artifact and just disenchant. I'm, like, reading it like I don't know what disenchant does. I'll take the snare caster. Ooh, blight blade seems great. Yeah, pressure points, meh. Spare supplies is meh. Okay. Three sealed leagues. Warriors worked out for the best so far. Interesting. I mean, this is more of a five. This is more of a party deck. Oops, oops, oops. Like, I kind of want to minimize the number of creatures that don't have. Wizard, Wizard, Warrior, Ox, you're an exception. Cleric, Beast, you're an exception. Cost one less for each of our party members. Bird, you're an exception. Ooze, you're an exception. Warrior, Wizard, Griffin, you're an exception. <laughs> Warrior, Rogue, Ooh, Cleric. Plus, I got a decent amount of removal of royal eruption uh, smite the monstrous synchronized spellcraft ain't no party like a naya party yeah that's true well cause a naya party don't stop you know so Ooh, Branchloft Pathway? Oh, that's pretty nice. 
What do you do? Two, three, for four. Whenever you gain life for the first time each turn, create a one-one cat. Yeah, I think it's just pathway. Pathway seems real good. Anything I'm really sad about passing? I the attendant healer is real good. But I think in a non-cube-like format, I think fixing is pretty important. We also have 22 cards already that are pretty playable. Huh. Oh, well... That's something, I guess. I mean, she's only a ticket, but she's still a planeswalker. I mean, I'm still taking the planeswalker, I think. And then we're hoping a Coom Warrior comes back, or Prowling Felidar. They won't, but I'll hope. I mean, at worst, she's a four mana creature that makes one, four mana planeswalker that makes one ones. That you can attack, attach equipment to for free. Master of Winds. Yeah, that guy's not great. Dauntless Survivor is another warrior. Probably better than Adventure Awaits here. It also has a counter synergy with Orin Reef Ooze. Yeah, it seems like an easy pick. Ondu Inversion. Jeez, that's fascinating. Ooh, Attendant Healer. Up to two creatures get plus X plus X or X is the number of creatures in your party. This card seems unbeatable. Like, I think we're just taking this. Um, don't care about the three one. I think we just want broken wings for the sideboard. This is twenty four cards. I don't actually care about Arden Electromancer that much. Is this for each creature in your party? So it could be three mana. Play like Relic. We actually don't have a ton of landfall, so I think we can cut the Raptor. I don't think we have any landfall, actually. Stomper is also not super impressive. It's just a big dude, which is sometimes nice and limited. Uh, no... Core Warrior, one, two for one. That's impressive, right? It's not. I mean, this is a warrior. It's a two-two warrior with trample. It could be a fourth. Yeah, actually, maybe this guy's fine. I mean, I wish we had more impressive warriors. Like, I wish we had like a seven mana warrior that you can be like negative two, find the warrior. Deals damage equal to target creature planes working with twice the number of equipment you control. So that's never going to be relevant. She's literally just a creature that plus ones to make warriors in our deck. And I still think that's fine. One, three for two gets plus two, plus O. Oh. I mean, I think we're just trying to maximize the number of warriors we have here. Guy probably better than 3 1 because this guy just becomes a 3 3 at some point. And we could also take Fizzer. I think Fizzer, 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 Wizzer, Wiz. Fuck, that's hard to say. That's not fun to say. I'll just take Practice Tactics because I think that's Fizzer, Wizards, and Practice Tactics. That's that's miserable. Yeah, I'll take you. Sure. A good amount of cuts to make here. I feel like this guy can be one of them. I mean, I like the wizard because it does increase things like strength. I think Blight Blade can go. We're not going to be that heavily green. Maybe smite the monstrous. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take this low mage's domination for funsies. Oh, didn't mean to take that so quickly, but here we are. Um, take Dauntless Unity. Take Utility Knife. And all right, cool. And only one Landy Land. So actually, if we want to play 16... If strength is good enough. I think Electromancer just doesn't. I don't care about it enough. And these are also wizards. Yeah, we can take Electromancer out. And then we can just play 15. We can play this and add. Let's sort by color. Oh, this is pretty evenly distributed. Alright, so we have one of each in the deck right now. We have a red, a white, and a green. So five, five, five. Sure. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of single double colored card in the deck, which is pretty nice. I wish we took the um, the uncommon equipment that was like plus two, plus one if it's a warrior. Goes really well with Nahiri. His hand's pretty good. First turn, Archpriest. Second turn, Gomafada. All right. No third turn, but we do have all of our colors. Wow, the Archpreach Mirror Mask. Archpreach? Archpriest? I can't say anything today. I guess it is 2.53 in the morning, so... Oh, uh, you got it. Oh, Paragon. How nice. Okay. And I'll attack. <laughs> if you want to trade with Paragons, fine. I didn't think you would. Another Visionary. Visionary. Doo -doo. Boom, doom, doom, doom. Seems good. All right, so we are almost dead. Well, we're not going to attack, so they can probably put this on there for three, play a land, and then attack us. I mean, look at it. They've played four cards. Two of them have been rares. One of them has been an uncommon. So. Yep. All right. So that's cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, we can't hit a fourth land. So that's that's good stuff. Yep. They do have two cards. I'm definitely chump blocking because I don't feel like going to one. And then ideally, we can play like smite on this. Don't play another creature. Just just pass. Pass the turn. We'll hit a land. Smite your guy. No playables. Okie dokie. Just going to concede here. Yep, that's not going to do it. Alright, seems good. Good times. But it was not good times. It was bad times.
to forests. Mulligan. <laughs> Okie dokie. No white for these guys. No third mana. I guess in a perfect world we can hit a white source on turn two for our fledgling. Getting mana screwed in Zendikar Rising. Fantastic. I guess we can go this into this next turn. Sure. So next turn we can actually play this, play a land, play this. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, we did it. Okay, so white, you fearless fledgy boy. Land. Always yield to that guy. And then we'll play this. Now they have four cards. We have one card. Seems good. Not ideal. Yeah, that guy's real good. Okay. This is attacking or blocking, huh? Sure. Get in there, little bird boy. Fly away. right in here it seems we're really good huh the problem is this doesn't do anything if this is off the board so I'm gonna get rid of it first sure Maybe we just win with the bird, you know? Maybe that's what happens. If we go land, it's five. Land, it's six. <sighs> Meanwhile, we have seven lands and nothing to do. Yep, that seems good. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. You just want to force that trade? What? This is a warrior. Interesting. Starting to have warrior, warrior. Yeah, we just block this thing. This is always going to have two toughness, but this guy could have. This guy could be a four three next turn if they choose to attack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight next turn. I don't think we win that race, unfortunately. We go five, we go five. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here. They have four cards, we have none. We have drawn four spells and one, two, three, four, five, six, eight mana sources. Yep. <laughs> nine mana sources. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 11 if they hit a land. I'm real tempted to attack and then hope I hit a land and then kill them, but that's a risk, man. Yep. That's probably going to put them in the in the driver's seat to cast whatever five... <laughs> oh, cool. 
That was a fun match. I had a good time. Doing absolutely fucking nothing. Fantastic. Maybe these matches will be quick though, so my misery can end sooner. I don't know, man. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Ever since I've uh, aggressively drafted cubes, I do not enjoy normal formats like this anymore because you get into situations like that where every card is underwhelming and you have to play a 2 2 for 2. Uh, whereas, like, if I top deck something in Vintage Cube after drawing 12 lands, uh, it might be an Ancestral Recall and I can draw three cards, play two more things, kind of establish a board position. Um, whereas every top deck in normal draft format seems pretty underwhelming. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Like, every card does less, so if you're far behind you're significantly less likely to be able to crawl out of any sort of any sort of shithole you're in. You just sort of get buried alive. If they have like five creatures and you have one, you just don't come back. And magic is still like variance heavy when it comes to mana, when it comes to lands, like it feels like, hey, well, That, like, it sucks, like, oh, I drew, you know, 10 lands. Even in Zendikar, you know, like, it's... It still happens, so, like, I feel like you want the cards themselves to be more impactful. But, I don't know. Draft is fine. People love draft. It's not a big deal. Just frustrating when it happens. Wish I had another creature to play here. I mean, I'm almost tempted to discard like this, this, and this, and draw three. Draw four, I guess. Bubble Snare. Seems good. And look, they get another 2 2 flyer. Wow, that's really. That's really very beatable for us, I think. It's almost like a bitter blossom. Yes, this. Keep the white one, two, three. Okay, draw four. Doesn't matter. Don't care. White. None of these guys have reach, right? Okay, sounds good. Remember, this attacks, but I want to encounter each creature with a counter on it. Sure. So next time we can go Visionary Gomafada. Hello, Mother Gomafada. Cleric of the Children. Yep. Attack for four, because now you don't need to worry about anything, because you can easily race me with those guys. <coughs> if only I had a reach creature in my main deck.
unbelievable. I like that you can just draft this and then just draft any sort of bullshit that you want to just fucking cycle. It's very much like the cycling deck in... Uh, or kick, rather. It's very much like the cycling deck in... Uh, is it like Coria? Yeah, so now we're just on a two-turn clock because they just make infinite drakes. Super fun. Super fun. Great mechanics. Solid. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Was this two mana make one one? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, reach? Nope, nope. Okay, so we're just dead. Sounds good. Seems good. Okay, let's bring in Broken Wings. And uh, I, I don't even care about this guy. You guys will be like, well, bring a 2 1 4 reach. But like, if they're amassing guys, it doesn't kill anything. They get two birds, we block one. They get three birds, we block one. They get four birds, we block one. Like, it just doesn't do anything. You're playing a subpar creature in order to just block one creature every turn and not even kill it. Yeah, alright. That's literally our answer, I guess. Oh boy. Take out Smite. I don't foresee that being extremely relevant. This could be a very quick draft. I will play first. Sure, why not? I'm going to keep this because we have a fledgling, which could be very good. All we need is some lands. Let's see if we draw those lands this game. Seven drop. Seems good. What up, Dolphin? One time. Just need a land. Just need a land. Fucking course. <laughs> Absolutely fucking amazing. Fantastic resource system. Oh, look, another card that's relevant to your kick spells. Sounds good. Yep, I'm sure I'm going to be taking five next turn. Oh, well, here we go. Bubble snare on this guy kicked. Attack for five. Ready? We'll make a Drake and it'll take five. That sounds good too, yeah. I think they're just trying to figure out which one's better. Oh, you're just going to play a boring 3 2. Sounds good. Sounds good. You know what? Hilariously, I think I'm just going to actually ship a bunch of cards from this hand. So. Valak could awaken and cast it. One, two, three. Don't care about you, or you, or you, or even you, really. Any order. Wow, we hit one land in that. Oh my god. Jesus. I mean, I guess luckily, hey man, we got a, we got a wizard that lets us loot so we can just discard something like this. That's choice. Literally drew like five cards. <laughs> That's insane. Hey, look, it's the exact fucking thing I said they were going to do, only did it one turn later. Sounds good. Cool. Five drop. Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can hit a uh, discard a card. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can hit a land. Nope. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Can't really beat a five-five and a three-flyer. So, guess that's 
Is three color manageable? I mean, if I don't know if I draw five fucking extra cards and I can't hit a single other color land, like, probably not. <laughs> like, just, this doesn't even, not even, like... Literally have not won a game. I mean, it seems weak on fixing, but it doesn't really necessarily have to be, like, I have six of every color source, which seems fine when you don't have a single double colored card in your, in your deck. Every color card is single white, single green, or single red, so... Matchmaking field. All right, let's see if we can get crushed here. Unfortunately, when you're not playing for play points, uh, you can't even get 50 play points out of this, which is half a draft. Instead, you uh, get nothing if you go 1-2 in a regular draft. So, uh, kind of shit, but what can you do? You probably don't deserve anything for 1-2. <laughs> you should probably just get punished and be humiliated back into a hole. This guy. Pump himself. Let me guess you're gonna kill this guy? Okay, seems good. Just a four three. Yep. All right. All right. All right. All right. Kabira, weirdo. Well, now we're gonna block. So see if that is actually a thing that can happen. Yep. Watch me kill this and that's actually another blowout. Here we go. Sweet. Fucking cool. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Good times. Everything is all right. Uptime. Out of sight.
Okay, I'll, I'll do it again. Sure, good deal. Five, six seems good. It becomes a four, four. If you play number warrior, it's a six, four. Yep, that's what we were expecting. And now you equip. Yeah. Probably gonna take six here and then smite it. Okay. So this would cost three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this would be five at most if they, or they could pump it once and equip it if we kill it now, which would make it a uh, three, four, five. And yeah, we're just gonna wait. We'll just play Smite. I think we're also, I think we're just dead. Because our deck is not very good. Uh, I thought it was fine, but it turns out to be not very good, so. In my opinion, protection spells exist. Well, it's not really your opinion, that's a fact. They do exist in this format. Ah, oh, the old misplaced comma. <laughs> a classic. I was like, in my opinion, protection spell. I'm like, that's, that's real though. That's not. That was making me like, in my opinion, they're attacking with a creature right now. That's not his opinion though. That's a fact. Okay, so you get two mana. They have one card in hand. Okay, that feels decent. That being said, Relic Axe is very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Seems good. I'm just going to keep playing lands. I mean, we have no... We have, like, one creature that really takes advantage of landfall. I guess two. This guy needs another land to really be good. Yep, they're gonna pay their costs. Sure. Oh my fucking god. Yep. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Jesus. And then we go to one and then we die to that guy anyway, so. Cool. Broken Wings is the main deckable in this format. Jesus Christ. This has been an experiment in what not to do when you draft Zendikar Rising, guys. I don't know what the holdup is here. <laughs> you 
should have done it on every best one hand smoother would have given you all three basics in every opening hand. That's fucking terrible. That's such a shit design, and I don't think it's actually good magic. It's actually so insulting. Alright, well, three drop would be great here. Yep, that's what I figured. Kill this guy response? For sure. Congratulations. Never don't have it strikes again. There you go. It's also 3.30 in the morning and I'm kind of getting tired and cranky, so apologies for that, guys. But nonetheless, this draft has not gone well. Sure. Oh, yep. All the lands you can handle. While your opponent... Beats the fucking shit out of you with their actual spells. Yep, keep it coming. Just keep it coming. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, nine lands, four spells. That's how you win games, guys. The old nine land, four spells. Yep, that thing. <clears throat> sure. Uh, three, four, five, six. They can triple block. Maybe we should have been getting in there with this guy. I was trying to keep back because I don't think Skyclave Geopede is really where we want to be. And I, I also think... Drawing Smite changes that. Oh, see what happens. See if they want to triple block. Or if they have... I'm sure they just have combat tricks for days. They have three mana. They haven't been playing anything, so... They just took seven. Fascinating. I feel like that went well. Better than expected. If no follow up. Oh, we can put them to one here. Tap a dude, draw a card. Okay.
What does this do? One one as long as it is equipped when it dies, it deals sure. Alright. Or how many pressure points they have left. Huh. Something seven. Pretty sure they block here. Yeah, all right. Well, that is a thing. Sure, we'll go to twelve. Yeah, so, I mean, they go to 7 by the time we're actually able to kill them. They go to 8 now, and then 7 on the next turn. Which means both our creatures are lethal, and if even one gets through, we still get to deal the extra 5 here. So, I think they're just conceded. Alright, maybe we can win a game. Or a round, rather. We won one game. Fucking nailed it, dude. It's all I've ever wanted to do. Well, unfortunately. You know what? I'll keep this because of Relic. And we're on the draw. So, what's the worst that could happen? Fourth fucking play. <laughs> God, jeez. That's amazing. What an incredible draw. To be honest, like, green off the top would be fine. We'll go green into this guy, into this guy, into this guy. You just deal with it, you know? But it was not a green off the top. Ah, oh, boy. Well, you have good days and bad guys. Seems good. Wow. All right. So next turn, I might be able to. Nope. Wait. Never mind. Three, four, flying first strike. Oh yeah. Rare. Seems good. Oh, they tried to kill this, and it's indestructible. Solid. You done messed up, AA Ron. Solid play. Let me screw them on mana. Oh, I didn't read the card. I mean, I just don't know how, we're, how like, I literally don't know how we're dealing with a 4 4 flying trampler or flying first striker. It's, I mean, rares are cool and all, but. Again, there's just cards where you're like, well, that was a fun game. I had a good time. One, two, three, four, five. We need six to actually deal four to this guy. Can't even deal four because we still only have two creatures in our party there, so. That's a bummer. All right. 
right, five four it is. Now they're just gonna use that wizard spell and kill this thing. And then we're gonna put all our eggs in one basket. Okay, so warrior wizard, so two, three mana. Now they're attacking for five. I already don't like the new standard. I've heard this before. I've literally heard people... I mean, like... There's a big concern about Omnath, Lotus, Cobra... Uh, and Euro being in the same format. Yep. Five it is. Five alive, my dude. Glad we brought in Broken Wings. Doesn't mean we're gonna never draw it, but you know, it's cool to have. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't kick this. This will deal two. And uh, this guy does nothing against the five damage in the air. So, you know, we're basically dead. Just like completely, completely did. Well, we had a good run, guys. Either way, not our uh, not our best Zendikar Rising effort. Thank you guys for watching. Either way, and uh, be sure to check out Mana Traders. Dot com. They have a great subscription service. You can get twenty percent off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. You can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. They have a great, great internet security solution in the form of VPN. 68% off a two-year subscription along with a month free, so it's a good deal. We probably should have done this in response to this trigger. They both announced its attackers. This trigger is on the stack. We kill this. We save a point. But it might not matter. It probably doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nothing really matters. When was the last time standard was actually enjoyable? I mean, I don't know. There's like a handful of pushed cards that just keep getting... They just keep showing up, you know? So it's like... Went before those cards were a thing. I mean, we have one draw here. To try to deal with Maul of the Sky... Skyclaves. Which is utterly just busted and limited. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now we have to deal with both of these guys. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's... Yep, thank you guys for watching. 03, not ideal, but uh, we'll see you next time. Really appreciate it.